Hi, I'm Sherilyn, and today we're going to be replacing the evaporator fan blade in a Maytag refrigerator. You may need to replace your evaporator fan blade if you hear a weird noise coming from your freezer or your freezer is too warm. This repair should only take about 20-25 minutes. For this repair, we're going to need three tools, a quarter inch nut driver, a flathead screwdriver, and a Phillips head screwdriver. If you don't already have a new evaporator fan blade, they are available for purchase on our website. Before making this repair, make sure to completely disconnect the refrigerator from its power source. We can open the freezer door. Start by removing the ice bin. Then we can remove the wire shelf. Simply push up on all four corners, and then slide to the left to release the one side, tip up and slide out to remove the wire shelf. Next we can remove the ice maker, it's held in place by three quarter inch nuts. We'll start by removing the one on the bottom. and we just need to loosen the two on the top. Once those are loosened, we can lift up on the ice maker, lift it off the screws. And then we'll need to disconnect it from the wire harness. We can take a flathead screwdriver, lift up on the tab, and disconnect those and remove the ice maker. Next we'll need to remove this small panel on the evaporator tower. Just take your fingernail, pull it out, and set it to the side. There's a quarter inch nut on the inside. We'll remove that. Now we can press in on the tabs on the outside of the tower. And once those are out, you can pull it out. Now we can remove the four screws on the evaporator cover. We'll take our Phillips head screwdriver to do that. Now we can gently pull the evaporator cover forward from the top. Just bend it in slightly to get it over the screws. We'll need to disconnect the grounding wire from the evaporator cover. Just push that off. Slide the wire harness through. Bend it around the screws and remove it. So here we have the evaporator fan assembly. We'll start by unhooking all the wiring from the mount, pull out all the wires from the plastic mount here. We can just pull those forward. And we have a wire harness over here. We can disconnect that, lift up on the lever, and that'll come apart. Now that those are out of the way, we can unscrew the quarter inch mounting screws on the back. Once those are unscrewed, you can bring it forward. And we can disconnect the grounding wire to the motor. That's on there tight. You can also use a flathead screwdriver to help pry that off. So here we have the evaporator fan assembly. You can remove the nuts the rest of the way if they're still in there. This back bracket holds the motor in place, so we'll need to squeeze these two clips in order to release it. Simply squeeze those and push them through. There we go. Put that to the side. 
Now we can pull up on the fan blade and get a grip on the motor. You should be able to pull this off. There we go. So now that we have the old fan blade off, we can discard it. So now we can take our motor. We'll take the black bracket that goes on the back. The wire harness should be at the top of the motor. Line up those hexagon shapes. The clips should also be facing away from you and on the bottom with the screw holes at the top. Once that fits snug on the motor, next we can take the front of the bracket, line up the shaft of the fan through the front of the bracket, and we can clip the back bracket into place. Then just make sure to line up the front of the bracket with the grommet. And now at this point, we can press our new fan blade onto the shaft. The pressure fit, so just make sure it's all the way pressed down. And there we go. We can reconnect the ground wire. And we can mount it on the wall again. And that's it, we can replace the evaporator cover. And then start threading through the wire harness for the ice maker. Push it past the screws. And then make sure that fill spout for the water goes through the hole in the cover as well. And we can replace the screws. And there we go. And place your evaporator tower. It should line up with the bottom. And then press the tabs into the slots. And you can replace the screw. And pop the small panel into place. Replace the ice maker. We'll start by connecting the wire harness. Then we'll just need to make sure that the fill tube sits inside the water fill cup. And we can set it on the screws. Replace the bottom screw. and tighten down the top two. And that's it. Replace the wire shelf. It'll go in at the same angle it came out. Slide it into the holes on the left, lower down the right side, center it out, and then simply push it down into place. And we can replace the ice pan and close the door. Finally, don't forget to plug in your refrigerator. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you found this video very helpful. If you don't have any of the OEM parser tools that you saw in the video, all of those products are available for purchase on our website. Our goal is to show that the everyday person is completely capable of cheap and easy household appliance repairs. So please like, comment, and subscribe to our channel, and maybe even show this video to a friend in need.